Hi, my name is Joel Comiskey, and I want to share with you about three characteristics that really are very important in small group leadership. Now, on the first part, I talked about the filling of the spirit. I talked about the importance of facilitating a group and listening. Now, this is the second part, and I'd like to start with transparency, then encouragement, and finally, how to deal with the talker. So let's start with transparency in the group. You know, small groups are more than just information. They're all about transformation. And so you want to encourage people to share freely, to talk about what's really happening in their lives. John says, if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with each other and the blood of his son, Jesus Christ, cleanses us from all sin. And that's all about transparency. As James says, confess your faults one to another and pray for one another so that you might be healed. You know, I love small group ministry because it's a time where I can share freely what's happening in my own life. Now, I've also noticed that unless the small group leader is sharing transparently, others will not share. If the leader is always acting very spiritual, always trying to look good, then no one else will really share either. So it, it begins with the leader. Remember the importance of transparency. Now, the second thing is encouragement. And this is so important because if people are going to be transparent and step out, the leader needs to encourage people to do so. It's kind of like they're walking on water by saying what's really happening in their lives. And the leader must always say, good job. Thank you for sharing that. Way to go. I remember I was in one small group and the leader made the small group kind of like a, an exam. And so he would say, well, what is the answer? And people would would say something, would respond, and he'd say, no, not quite, somebody else. You're getting warmer, keep on going, that's not the answer. And I remember by the end of the meeting, nobody wanted to say anything, because they were afraid that it would be the wrong answer. And really, there is no right answer in the small group, because we're trying to encourage everyone to share, we're trying to encourage transparency and transformation. So you don't want to make it a quiz, an exam. The last thing I want to talk about is how to deal with the talker. Because if you want everyone to share, then you don't want one person to dominate the discussion. Not the leader, not one member. Now how do you deal with people who talk too much? I think one way to do it is just to say before the question, those who haven't responded from in the last question can respond now. So that everyone knows that they're, they are going to have a chance to talk. Another way, and the way that I like best, is to call upon each person by name. Mary, what do you think? Mary might be shyer, and thus you want to give her the first chance to talk. Again, not forcing it on anybody, but rather uh, calling on people by name. The second way is to sit by a person that talks too much. Let's say Talking Thomas talks way too much. You sit by Talking Thomas, not to give Talking Thomas eye contact. Another more radical way is if Talking Thomas pauses, oh, what do you think, Mary? Now that's more radical because sometimes Talking Thomas doesn't even pause. You know what I mean. You might have experienced people like that. Another way is just the Jesus strategy. Go to Talking Thomas and say, you know what? We are here so that everybody can be transformed and become disciples. Help me, Talking Thomas, to get other people to share. Go to the person individually. We've talked about three characteristics, transparency, encourage, encour uh, encouraging people, and also dealing with the talker. Now, I have two books that really cover these topics more in depth. And the first one is facilitate. The second one is how to lead an effective small group so that people come back. I hope you'll get a hold of those books. I also hope that you'll check out the many articles we have on our website. God bless you. If you like this video, please click on like and subscribe to our channel, but also check out the resources on our website.